just be careful if you're going to use this. You do have a cord in here. Don't you don't want to go too far in and take the possibility of cutting it. All right, guys uh, welcome back here and the next process here is um, getting the belt pulleys on the motors installed and it's fairly simple I would highly suggest that you get you a set of calipers um, it's gonna make this process easier you'll see as we install this why I'm, what I'm talking about because this pulley has to be set at a certain depth, at a certain height, I mean, from the face of this motor right here to the top of the pulley. So these pulleys, uh, they have two set screws and just make sure they're, they're out a little bit and it's 332nd size. Um, so you're gonna need some standard tools along with metric. Um, I have this set here. Uh, but this seems to have a little more torque be able to make sure you're getting it tight um, I'm going to use this just to get it close uh, but these these uh, have a lot of twist in it and I don't feel safe fully tighten it so I'll use this to finish tightening it so um, you can just get you a, a knife here box blade and just get the get this tape off of here if we take this keyway out and look at it, it looks like it's pretty flat. Sometimes on the keyway they'll taper up toward the end and what that'll do is we'll make, if it's pushed all the way in, it'll kick this out and it kind of jams this and doesn't allow you to get that pulley fully seated down into where you need it to go. So um, just, just stuff that I've learned working on motors and not motors but uh, tractors and stuff so and just get your pulley it'll go this this shoulder here goes down slide it down over that and it and it goes down for real easy um, and what I do here is I lock my calipers in on 35 millimeters. All you do is you'll use this bottom end here, put it up against the pulley, and you can adjust this for fairly easy. So if you can see, I'm putting this, this part of the caliper on the pulley and coming down till I make contact. And that's it. Once you get it there, just kind of hold it. Get your Allen wrench here, and that'll hold it in place. We'll check it again to make sure I'm good. Check it on both sides. And check it all the way around if you want. And I just go back and I check it, make sure I didn't move. And we're good. And you're going to do that to three motors. And according, you know, depending on what you get, these are NEMA 34s. Uh, the 23s are different, but that steps in the, in the instructions on which ones you get. Okay, next we're going to do the uh, drive plate assembly to the motor. And this portion goes down 
Okay, so the cable of the motor should be orientated toward the motor plate cup, which this is the cup. So you set the plate down with this portion pointing down, and you have slots cut in here. So you set this down on the motor, you can set it back a little bit, and there's four nuts that'll fall down in there. These are M6 hex nuts and these are M622 uh, cap screws and I think they are five yes five millimeter that screw started on the nut did it run up a little bit just to hold it in place and you're gonna just replicate the process on each one here Just work yourself around and, and these plates are made for the different styles of motor so it, it's only going to fit in one spot and and the the holes will line up to the correct orientation you don't have to try to figure it out and then it's going to take your gear it comes with a nylon nut and this looks like a six millimeter which it is you just take this nylon nut this is just to keep it in place during shipping we're going to put a little bit of Loctite on that okay and just get this and come down make sure you put that washer in there go ahead and tighten that down so we'll get that tightened down and you're gonna get this belt here and there's no specific way that this shows to run but all you do is bring this motor that plate slide it that's why you leave it loose go ahead and get it in the grooves here slide it down and make sure that belt seated correctly Okay. Now, make sure your belt seated in the teeth right, that you're not missing a tooth and leave a gap up here because you will. Uh, let me try to demonstrate that. So if you miss a tooth and you go to tighten that, you see how that gap's left there? You don't want to do that. Make sure that belt seated in there correctly because you will regret doing that if you don't catch it okay 
and we're in there right. We're going to flip this over. this side and it takes a cam nut here and you set this cam nut in here and you're going to use this bolt and what this cam nut will do as you turn it it's going to tension that belt for you so um, this is something else we'll put some Loctite on. And that looks like that's going to be like a five. No, five. Here. That ran down in there a little bit. And then what you do here, take your little adjustable wrench here. And what that does is you turn it, let me get these uh, ran down a little more, because it's trying to pick that motor up just a hair, we need to get this right, okay. So there's a lot of things going on here. So once you set this and you give it that, you want you don't want to be able to push these together about an eighth of an inch, no more than an eighth of an inch. I think that's good right there. And what you want to do is get this ready and just recheck yourself. That's good. And tighten that cam down. Okay. So that's set. And you want to tighten up your motor as well so you get those tightened up And that takes care of this assembly here. Okay. So we're good there. Now I will tell you this. I did it off camera because I did mess up. When you set these pulleys on this motor, before you put the pulley on, take those set screws out and put some Loctite on it. As I scrolled down, I didn't go down far enough and it says I didn't think they wanted to put Loctite, but they did. So, uh... I took out one at a time so I wouldn't have to remeasure, lock tight, tighten it, and then took the other one out. So I went back and I did put lock tight on these. Uh, and then you go to this and it's going to be the same process on each one. And then we'll come back. I'll go ahead and get those done and we'll come back and we'll show the installation on the actual uh, CNC itself.